Hi everyone. Because diminished seventh chords are symmetrical, constructed of stacked minor third intervals, they can potentially have four different root notes. This diminished seventh, for example, may be labelled as an F sharp diminished seventh chord, an A diminished seventh chord, a C diminished seventh chord, and an E flat diminished seventh chord, which is more commonly written as a D sharp diminished seventh chord. Knowing which label to use typically depends on two main factors, the chord to which the diminished seventh resolves and the notation of the diminished seventh chord. The root note of the chord to which the diminished seventh resolves will typically lie a semitone above the root note of the diminished seventh chord. This is true for diatonic and secondary diminished seventh chords. In these examples then, the diminished seventh chords would resolve to a G minor or major chord, a B flat minor or major chord, a D flat minor or major chord, and an E minor or major chord. The diminished seventh chord's notation must reflect the stacked minor third structure of the chord. Here, for example, where all of the chords are in root position, with each new chord the notation changes to preserve the minor third intervals. Here the chord includes F sharp and E flat accidentals. Here the F sharp is written as G flat. Here the A is written as a B double flat. And here the E flat is written as a D sharp. This is a very important point as composers will typically notate diminished seventh chords to preserve the stacked minor thirds. An example of this can be seen here, where because this diminished seventh chord resolves to a G minor chord, Beethoven notates it with F sharp as its root note, whereas here, because it now resolves to an E minor chord, he notates it with D sharp. An exception to these factors occurs with common tone diminished seventh chords. Here, for example, this diminished seventh chord stacked in minor thirds would have an A root note suggesting resolution to either a B flat minor or major chord. In this instance, however, the diminished seventh chord is essentially a decoration of G flat major, the root note of which is the common tone. Therefore, while the diminished seventh A, C, and E flat notes here move essentially as they would when resolving to their typical chord of resolution, here they do so as a means of prolonging the G-flat major harmony. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.